Flight of the Intruder tells the story of U.S. Navy pilots in Vietnam in 1972 during a temporary ban on bombing of the North. The hero of the film, played by Brad Johnson, gets discouraged when his buddy is killed during a pointless raid on a non-existent target, and he decides to conspire on an illegal raid against Hanoi. We're at the IP. Hard left. Get it on. So I walk through the valley. Three miles to target. Johnson's new partner is played by the much-decorated Willem Dafoe. This is his third tour of duty. And when he's asked to come along on this illegal mission, he thinks it over, and he says yes. I've never trusted anybody. I've never counted on anybody but myself. But I'll tell you, nobody has a chance alone. I'm glad we did this together. The squadron leader on board the aircraft carrier is played by Danny Glover, and he is really mad at the fact that men under his command have disobeyed orders. Good men die, and all we care about is following the rules, huh? What are you looking for, Graft? Revenge. Now, this is not the place for it. You're going to shake your fist at God and say, give me revenge. Well, he ain't listening. Then, wouldn't you know it, in a typical Hollywood twist, later in the movie, Glover is shot down in Vietnam, and who comes to his rescue? The same guys he was mad at. Yeah! Hang in there, devil leader. We got you covered. Listen up, you criminals. That gun is still down here, and there may be more. The aerial action footage in Flight of the Intruder is not as good as a similar footage in Top Gun, but then again, how many movies are ever going to be as good as Top Gun was in that department? I will say, though, that the movie did hold my interest right up to the point where they bomb Hanoi, and then, at a natural point for the movie to be over, it continues to go on and on through a series of the most dismaying cliches, scenes that seem to be recycled out of John Wayne and World War II. I couldn't believe the last 20 minutes of this movie. I can only give Flight of the Intruder one and a half stars, and I'm Roger Ebert.